This is the new iPhone 15 series and here's my unboxing and my second look at all of the devices. Shot of my Blackmagic 6K camera in a raw video format so you get to see exactly how the colors look. Now starting from the unboxing of the base iPhone 15, the variant that I have is in yellow and this pastel yellow color is exactly how I saw it at the Steve Jobs Theatre since it had perfect lighting over there. Now in the box, other than the paperwork, the SIM ejector tool and the Apple stickers, there's the new braided USB-C to USB-C version 2.0 cable, surely higher durability compared to the previous cables being shipped on iPhones. Now this yellow color variant is very muted as you can see and if you're curious about how the colors look when it's reflected on light, here it is. And here's how it looks at the sides, which has a more goldish yellow color sheen to it. And at the sides, it maintains the mute switch since it is the non pro variant. Then the iPhone 15 Plus variant that I have is the iJustin variant. I mean, pink. It also has a more pastel color, but the pink looks like a real pink, as the colors were a little more prominent. And here's how it looks when the light is shining on it and the sides had a metallic pink look also in a matte finish. Next for the Pro iPhone 15s, instead of a black colored box for the previous Pro iPhones, this comes in white too and this variant that I have is the titanium white and here's how it looks with the light being reflected on it and here's how it looks from the side angle where you can appreciate the titanium finish. And I have to say that during my second impressions, I kind of like this new color too. Then as for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it's in my personal favourite colour this year, which is the natural titanium. Now usually I would go for the silver aka white, but the moment I saw this natural titanium at the Apple event, I immediately fell in love with this. And here's how it looks with some light shining on it. And here's how it looks from a side angle, once again appreciating the amazing titanium finish. And for the ones who doubted me whether or not I was holding the natural titanium, not the white. When I posted my video at the Apple event, I was holding this white titanium, okay? And for comparison, here's how it looks when I hold the natural titanium side by side for you to see the difference. So when it comes to the build quality, the underrated improvement Apple made on this non pros is the curved edges. So it was something that we didn't think that we needed until it was there. And the more I hold it, the more I appreciate this build quality and the matte finish. And not only it does not attract any fingerprints, but it feels really good every single time when I hold it. Then the major change for the iPhone 15 Pros is the new titanium build. And to address all the haters out there about how it does not have much change in the weight. Well, first of all, 19 grams on a smartphone is quite a difference in weight. And as I mentioned in my video podcast with Uma from Product Nation, it felt really light, almost like it was a prototype of sorts. Now this Pro had a very familiar experience of comfort and holding the phones, but the weight of the phone was very much appreciated and it's nice that the Pro variant does not feel as hefty how it usually is. And while there are reports about how the darker variants of the Pro attracts fingerprints and smudges, if you want a totally fingerprint and smudge free experience, just go with these two colours, trust me you won't regret it. And here's how all of the colours look side by side as a recap. Alright, so stay tuned for a series of videos that we'll be releasing very soon after this. So subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so, as I'll be going deeper on how versatile this USB-C ports are in these new iPhones, both on the Pro and the non-Pro. And let me know which colour that you are going for.